Hello everyone and welcome to the 6th episode of Mule Bytes. In the previous video, we have seen how to design a document action, how to create a document action with the help of IDP, how to publish it to Exchange and we have also seen different capabilities of IDP, what IDP does. In this video, we are mainly going to focus on how to test the document action that was published in Exchange and review your task in the document action. I am Akshita Savan, Senior Developer Advocate at Salesforce. And with that, let's get started. We are now on AnyPoint Exchange and what you're seeing here is the same document action that we published in the previous video and now it is imported as a REST API. On expanding further, you can also see there are two different methods, get and post, and we're going to test these two methods today. So let's first start with the post method and select the server as IDP. On scrolling further down, we need to inform, like we need to fill in the file information let me give it a file name and I'm also selecting the same document action document that we have used last week. We also need client credentials, which is client ID and client secret for which we need to create a connected app. So let's go into access management and create our new connected app to test our IDP document action. Go to connected apps, create a new app, give your app a name as test IDP select it as client credentials add scopes we just have one scope to be added in the part of document action select your business group next and add the scope once the scope is added we can click save and a connected app is created let's copy the client ID and client secret Okay, I've copied the client ID. I'll be copying the client secret. Once that's done, click on advanced setting. And we are passing a client credentials as a part of authorization header. And let us also request access token. Once the access token is generated, we can click on send. And yes, it has the document has been successfully created i mean we have got a 201 response and it has processed the document action um so let's go ahead and try the second method which is get i've also copied uh, if you have noticed i've also copied the document id here because that is something we are going to need when we are doing get document action so let me go ahead into that get document action execution let me enter the execution id and the client ID client credentials have already been generated. Let me recheck these credentials. Here you need to select the message body uh, authorization header as a credential location because that's how we are passing our client credentials. And you can click send. And you can see that the document has been processed and all the document, the value has been extracted. So behind the scene, IDP is doing its magic. Also in the status, you can see manual validation required. So it means that this is the place where a human in loop comes into picture. The human basically comes into picture. So let's go back to IDP and see what validation is required. So for that, let's go into the review task and purchase order. So here we can see the phone number is the one that requires a review this is just like one minute ago so this is the most recent one and i've added myself as the reviewer hence it is asking me to get the review done so we can check on the field and see if the uh, values are correct and we've also get the, got this item to be reviewed because the percentage ratio is low it's like 61 percent so idp wasn't sure here assure here and it asked us to review it so it seems fine and I'm going to do submit and done. Once this is done, let me go back to uh, any point exchange and try sending the request again. So now we can see that the status has been changed to succeeded, which means our uh, document is processed and it has been validated. All the fields have been extracted correctly. 
So we have seen how to test our IDP services in any point exchange using the mocking service. Similarly, further, you can use the services and integrate them with your Mule application, with Flow, with RPA. So go ahead and do try them out. I'm listing down a few resources that could be helpful for you to get started with IDP. Also, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe our channel, like this video, and also check out the other videos from Mulebyte playlist to get you started with Mule journey. Thanks for watching.